Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 16 of the Washington football team franchise here on Madden NFL 22. Today, your 5-6 football team traveled to Las Vegas in Allegiant Stadium to face the 5-6 Las Vegas Raiders. Now this Las Vegas Raiders team has gone through a lot of turmoil this year. They fired John Gruden, Gus Bradley has stepped up to be the head coach. No Henry Ruggs, no Damon Arnett, but they have brought in Odell Beckham Jr. So a very turmoil season. And they sit at five and six, but they're gonna start off with the football. So if you're excited for this one, make sure you drop a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. Derek Carr, who has last through the John Gruden era, is your starting quarterback, 2,300 yards, 15 touchdowns to six interceptions. We'll start off with a give to their stud running back, Josh Jacobs, who gets a stretch for about four. Last week, 13 carries, 58 yards, one touchdown. He's had 10 touchdowns on the season. Second and six, now they're going to go to the air. Carr is going to throw it. Looks for his tight end, Foster Moreau, across the middle. Actually, it's Hunter Renfro who drops the pass. Now they go third and six. Carr in the pocket, going to throw forward, except he's going to go down this time right at the middle. That's Matthew Ioannidis with the sack. That's a three and out for Las Vegas. They put it away to Washington, which means Ryan Fitzpatrick will step out onto the field. 3,500 yards, 17 touchdowns to 15 interceptions. It's been a very up and down year for the former Harvard grad. They'll start for the football on their own 30 yard line. Fitzpatrick will look right side and he should have been picked off right there. Nonetheless, second and 10 now, gonna bring it in more tight. It's a handoff to Gibson, who is met immediately in the backfield. Absolutely nowhere to go. That is Yannick Ngakwe bringing him down. Now third and 13, Raiders bring a blitz. Fitzpatrick throws a deep ball left side and Samuel runs underneath it and catches it. What a grab as Samuel and Fitzpatrick hook up all the way down to the 17 yard line. So now it's first and 10 from the 17. Fitzpatrick will go back to the air, finds Gibson across the middle, and it's a touchdown over the head of the linebacker. Football team score first is a Gibson receiving touchdown, and they go up 7 to nothing. So now the Raiders with their second possession, still 11 minutes left to go. Only four minutes have come off the clock so far. First and 10, it's a crossing pattern to Renfro. That's the first completion of the day. Now second and three. Going to hand it off to Jacobs, who has a little bit of a hole left side. He will pick up the first down as he scampers to the 48 of Washington. Now first and 10, they're going to go back to the empty set. Looks over the middle. There is Foster Moreau, who drops it. No Darren Waller today for Las Vegas, so he's really going to have to step up in that tight end spot. Now second and 10, play fake to Jacobs, and Carr is going to go down for a sack. Montez Sweat gets to the quarterback, and this Washington pass rush is getting started early. Now third and 18, empty set, Beckham in the slot left. Carr looks across the middle, that one should have been picked off. And that's another punt for Las Vegas. So Washington's defense looking pretty solid here in the early going. Except on second and nine, Fitzpatrick will be sacked. Gerald McCoy brings down the quarterback. So now third and 13 for Washington. It's a four man rush, a little lob pass that is tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen, and Mullen walks his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Pick six off of a deflection, and just like that, Fitzpatrick has pick number 16, and we're all tied up at seven. So let's run it back again. Fitzpatrick, first and ten again, we'll throw it right side. There is Terry McLaurin, who is lined up in the slot a lot this week. Adam Humphreys currently dealing with an injury, so trying to get McLaurin more involved, you'll see a lot more slot snaps today. Now first and 10 for the 45, it's a deep ball for McLaurin and it's overthrown out of bounds. Now under center going to Gibson on the ground, tries to cut it right side, runs through a defender. Picks up about five and he's only got four for 10 so far. Now third and five, Fitzpatrick drops back to throw, he's hit as he throws from that right side, falls to the turf, Washington does kick three and take the lead. Now 10-7, play action here on first and 10, tries to find Beckham but he can't hold on through the contact. Now second and 10. Carr going to throw forward again. Looks across the middle. This is another pass that cannot be held on. That time John Brown with the drop. A lot of drops here early by these Raiders wide receivers. And now it's third and 10 for Carr. And he's going to be sacked. Chase Young works around that right side. Sacks Derek Carr. And that is another punt for the Raiders. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Football team lead 10-7. 
10 to 7, zero yards of offense for Las Vegas in that first quarter. Second and 12 on this Washington drive. It's a curl route to the right side. He's going to find Diami Brown, the rookie out of North Carolina, for a gain of eight. It's third and two. Handoff to Gibson. He works his way left side. He's going to have a first down for being brought down in the red zone at the 20 yard line. Another set of downs. Fitzpatrick drops back. He's going to try to run forward up the middle. He gets hit by a lineman. However, it was technically a run. He gained two. Now third and eight after an incomplete pass. Fitzpatrick bounces right side, trying to get away from the defenders, and he will not pick up the first down. Rushes for about six, and Washington will kick another field goal. 13-7 to now for the football team. Raiders got to do something on offense. Carr has got time in the pocket. Throws off his back foot, looking deep, and he cannot find Hunter Renfro. Carr two for eight for eight yards here in the early going. Now it's third and nine. Carr, going to throw for it. Off his back foot again. This time he's looking for Beckham, and he's just throwing up prayers at this point. Incomplete. Another punt away for Las Vegas. Antonio Gibson back to return this one. He's going to cut it right side at about the 28, and he'll get out to about the 42. So a nice little 14-yard return. And that'll be where Washington starts this drive. Now second and four from their own 48. Fitzpatrick throws left side. There is Diami Brown again with a tiptoe grab. That'll move the sticks. Only three yards of offense for Las Vegas in the first half so far, and Gibson will be going backwards on this draw play. Now third and ten. Patrick going to throw for it. Steps up in the pocket. Fires across the middle. There is Curtis Samuel with the connection. Nice grab out to the 29-yard line. He has been a very welcome addition into this lineup since coming back from the IR. Now first and in from the 29 is Gibson out of the backfield. This is going to be a first down inside the 15. Makes it first and 10. Gibson this time lined up to Fitzpatrick's left. We're going to try to set up a screen for them, but that one was read to perfection. Knocked down with ease. Makes it second and 10. Blitz coming from Las Vegas. They try to counter it with a draw, and it doesn't work. Gibson stuffed behind the line again. So now third and 13. Four-man rush from Las Vegas. Fitzpatrick steps up, tries to escape. He's going to scramble for it, tries to go to the end zone, but he loses the football at the one-yard line. It's picked up by the Raiders. Trayvon Mullen has it. And just like last week, Fitzpatrick failing to hold on to the ball in the red zone costs Washington potentially a touchdown. Now as though it's first and ten from the one for Las Vegas, they try to run together in end zone, but there's a... Illegal block in the back downfield on Beckham. Penalty will be declined, however, since it doesn't really do much. Second and nine, back to the ground, trying to get a little bit more space as Jacobs finds a little small hole. Now third and five. They have enough space to throw, they feel like. Carr in the end zone, though, is going to be sacked for a safety. Matthew Ioannidis through the line again, and it's 15-7 to seven football team. So here's the safety punt. Gibson will field it at about his 23, and he will race to his 38. A little 15-yard return. And I'll be where Washington starts off with the football. It's going to be a handoff to Gibson. Tries to find some space right side, but hasn't found a lot today. Going to be brought down after two. Now second and eight. Five men in the pattern. Fitzpatrick rolls to his right, but throws it to Gibson, who kind of escapes Kwiatkowski. And he'll get a little bit. Makes it third and manageable. Third and one, Fitzpatrick in the pocket is going to be sacked. He goes down. Cleveland Farrell, who has been working all day in run support, finally gets the sack and forces the punt. Now second and sits. Raiders inside their tent again. That's another dropped pass. That time Jacobs can't hold on to it. Third and six. Carr drops back, stands on his goal line, and runs backwards into the end zone. It is sacked for his second safety today. Chase Young this time gets the two-point credit. And it looks like a normal score, but it was not normal getting there. 17-7 football team, two and a half left to go in this first half. McKissick fields the punts, and we start our own 30. Fitzpatrick, quick drop back, step up, fires, has his man John Bates, the back up tight end who's in the game, and he gets free into the second level, deep inside Raiders territory, doesn't go down until the 12. Big catch and run for Bates, who stepped up last week with the release of Ricky Seals-Jones. Now first and 10, underneath the two-minute warning, Fitzpatrick escapes the pocket. He's going to run for it, and he's going to get slung out of bounds at the five-yard line. Second and two, bunch to the right, empty set. 
Fitzpatrick looks that way. Has Brown in the end zone for a touchdown. Football team extend their lead. Now 24-7. Now there is still time for Las Vegas here before the break, but Carr is going to be sacked on the first play from Young. His third first half sack. And that'll really do it here for the first half. We'll go into the intermission. Football team up 24-7. Can Las Vegas get anything going? We'll have to find out in the second half. Taking a look around the league here at the halftime report as we get into the playoff chase point of the season. Starting off in the Bayou, the Saints host the Cowboys and the Saints beat the Cowboys 38-28. to Two high seeds. Duke are now Winston's four touchdown passes beats Elliott's three touchdown runs. Into the North, the Steelers and the Ravens battle in an AFC North matchup. The Ravens currently up 14 to nothing. Jackson has two first half passing touchdowns, but Roethlisberger is only two for four for 24 yards. There have been rumors this is his last year. Can he at least make it to the postseason? Then finally, down in South Beach, the Dolphins lose the New York Giants 24 to 20. Giants continue to be a surprise all year long. Barkley had a rushing touchdown and increased the 100 mark, while the Dolphins fall to six and seven. Back to our branch up though, the football team will start off with the football here in the second half, looking to extend on their 17 point lead, and they'll start it with Gibson on the ground, and much of the same from the first half. Second and six, this time quick pass, Samuel wide open left side, and he runs up to the 48 yard line, gain of 19. Man in motion here on first and 10, Bates, he's going to move into the backfield for a handoff to Gibson, and he's going to be met. It's nothing on that play. Now second and 10, McKissick checks in, trying to get a little bit of a change of pace. He finds a small crease, picks up five, and now it's third and five. Empty Fitzpatrick looks to throw. He looks right side. There is Brown sitting down in the zone covers. That'll move the sticks. But Cornelius Lucas III is hurt on the play. He would be okay, however. Is on second and ten. Handoff to Gibson left side who finds an opening. And Gibson with his biggest run of the day scores a 35-yard run for a touchdown. Logan Thomas would be hurt on the play. He would miss the rest of this game, but not miss any time after. First and ten, there's a connection to John Brown. Las Vegas needs to get their offense going. Five for 14 for 43 yards is car. Now on first and ten, Jacobs gets to carry. He's only got 27 rushing yards, so not a lot of offense here. This time, handoff, change of pace. That is going to be Kenyon Drake with his first carry. The former Cardinal checks into the ballgame. Now third and six. Stays in the ballgame is Drake. He'll go out in the pattern. Carr looks and he throws it away left side. That'll be another punt for Las Vegas. However, Jonathan Allen was hurt on that play, grasping at that shoulder. Second and four, Gibson runs. Gains about two. Now Gerald McCoy will have to come off the field. Both teams experiencing some injuries here in the second half. Now it's third and one. Goes back to Gibson, who gets past that first defender, Farrell, and picks up a first down. So now at the 29-yard line. And a throw for it here on first and 10. Fitzpatrick will look. Fires right side. Has McLaurin out to the 46. A 17-yard crossing route. Gets him to about midfield. First and 10. Pass Samuel. Gets it. Has a little bit of a block. Moves the sticks. Continues his good game. Now out to the 40. Another time-consuming drive. It's a handoff to Gibson, who maybe gets two. 22 for 69 on the day for him. Second and eight. It's a RPO outside to McLaurin. The play will not stand as he gets about eight. But it's going to be a legal block in the back on the other side of the field that was totally necessary by Curtis Samuel. Now second and 12. Washington going to hand it off to Gibson. Looks like it was the same kind of concept. He is stuffed, so now it's third and 11. Fitzpatrick steps up in the pocket, going to look to run for it, escapes, and he will not get there. Kwiatkowski and company chase him down, and that'll be a 48-yard field goal try for Washington. Kick is up and good. They extend their lead now 27, a four-possession game for the Washington football team. As This one's starting to get a little out of hand. We'll see if Las Vegas can muster any sort of offense here. Three tight ends on here on second and nine. It's a handoff to Jacobs. I would not be so worried about running the ball so much this time. you got to push the ball downfield. Speaking of downfield, there was an illegal block in the back downfield on Odell Beckham Jr. Not having a very good game. Hasn't really had the best start to his Raiders career. 
Second and 17, there's a fumble. Collins rocks Josh Jacobs. Now Washington has the ball inside the 30. Bad to worse for the Raiders offense. And that's where Washington will start up shop. Here is Gibson who gets the swing run, I guess. And he gets laid out for his troubles. Gained about four. Now second and six. Handoff right side. Gibson had a hole. However, it looks like it'll be coming back. I think I saw Terry McLaurin downfield. Just randomly pushing down a defender for no reason. So that'll back it up now. Second and 11. Now third and three. It's a naked bootleg from Washington. Check down to Gibson, and he won't get there. Gains about two, but Washington will kick. They go now up 37 to seven, a 30 point lead for the football team going into the final quarter. So we will see what happens. We're just going to kind of skip through the fourth quarter a little bit. This one's kind of out of reach. So we'll just kind of highlight the big things that happen. Raiders have pushed down the field into the red zone, so they've started to get a little bit something going on this drive. Second and five, it's an out route to John Brown, and the former Bill will move the sticks. So this is the Raiders' best scoring chance on offense. Remember, their seven came on defense, and right as they say that, they will be going backwards. False start on that right side of the line. So we'll try it again. First and 15, two tight ends in the formation for Las Vegas. Jacobs is the deep back. As it'll be a swing pattern that way, and it'll be a loss. Or maybe he got back to the line, but nonetheless, a bad play all around. Now, third and 14, they bring in a fullback, and they're going to go play action. Carr looks right side from the end zone for Beckham. Cannot hold on through double coverage. And it's fourth and 14. Las Vegas will go for it. They think a field goal doesn't really help them here. Carr looks to the end zone and overthrows everybody. Las Vegas walks away with nothing. Their best chance to score is over. But Washington on third and six, trying to just run out some time. Fitzpatrick tries to run with the football again, and he just cannot hold on to the football. Puts it on the ground again. Kwiatkowski recovers, and Las Vegas has the ball at the 27, so they get it right back. And now here, third and eight from the 12. Carr is going to throw for it. He's going to look left side, have a man wide open in the end zone. John Brown with a touchdown. And the Raiders do get an offensive touchdown, making it now 34-14. to 14. Now they get the ball back, and here on third and goal, they will score again. Odell Beckham scores, so the Raiders show a little bit of life on offense, but it was a little bit too little, too late, as now it's 37-20. to 20. They would go for two to try to make it a 15-point lead. As now Carr will throw for it, has his man in the end zone, Renfro, so it's 37-22. to 22. But with less than two minutes to go, that'll be how this one ends. Washington comes away victorious, 37-22. to Final score doesn't tell the whole story as overall this team was pretty dominant. The defense played phenomenal until like the final 10 minutes, maybe even 7 minutes. And Carr's numbers don't look as bad as they really were. But football team get back to 500. They improved to 6-6 six and six on the season while the Raiders drop to 5-7. Offensively, very interesting story. We actually couldn't get anything going on the ground, so we relied on our weapons on the outside. McLaurin and Samuel, who both made a difference, and it paid off. This is a very scary offense, in my opinion, when we are clicking on all cylinders, but we just got to do a better job taking care of the football. All these interceptions, all these fumbles, we're just shooting ourselves in the foot, and that's something we can't be doing on this playoff stretch. As now we got five games left on the season. We currently sit at 500 and all of our remaining games are in the division so these next games are going to be make or break if you want to push into the playoffs next up we'll face the Cowboys and I think there's the two against the or one against the Giants and two against the Eagles so that is five playoff matchups to end the season before we get there though it's week 13 around the league to see some of the scores there's some blowouts here in this one and we're going to take a look at two of them Starting off with the Bengals blanking the Chargers, 35-0. to zero. Burrow had three passing touchdowns. Herbert, 254 and a pick. And then Mixon added two on the ground. Not a good showing for this Los Angeles offense. The Bengals just dominate them. And that AFC North matchup, the Ravens end up blanking the Steelers, 28 to nothing. Roethlisberger, 170 and two picks. Just a bad game. For Pittsburgh, Baltimore looks very dominant against their AFC North foe. Ravens are a solid playoff team this year. We'll just have to see if Lamar Jackson and company can maintain. 
Lastly, on Monday Night Football, the Patriots beat the Bills 38-16. to The Patriots currently your one seed in the AFC side of things. On the NFC side of things, it's the Bears who are the one seed. So Mac Jones and Justin Fields getting it done for their respective teams. The quarterbacks are the one seeds. Here are players of the week. Tyrod Taylor passed for four touchdowns for the Texans. Garoppolo did the same thing for the Niners. Pick six for Steven Nelson, got it for him. And same thing with CJ Henderson. So let's take a look at this playoff picture as we did last week. Not a lot has changed. We see the 49ers have snuck in now as the seventh seed. Ravens are your six, but like I said, Patriots and Bears, they are the one seeds. Four and five in the NFC are NFC East teams who we will see in the coming weeks, starting off with the Cowboys as we host the Cowboys in week 14, our first matchup against Dallas this season. They currently sit eight and four, and we know the story on this Cowboys team. Very strong offense, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, Amari Cooper, they got those three weapons. Now on defense, they've been kind of hit by injuries on that side of the ball, so we won't have to worry about Leighton Vander Esch. Won't have to worry about their strong safety as well, Donovan Wilson. But still a very potent team. Dak Prescott still your quarterback, as he will be got to respect his run and pass game. And then Ezekiel Elliott's got to respect him in the run game as well. Still a very solid back. Always very productive here for the Cowboys in these series. And on the outside, you got Amari Cooper, 27 years old, one of the top 10 wide receivers in the league. And then they were all run behind Zach Martin, the best right guard in football. No Tyron Smith this week. He is dealing with an injury, but Zach Martin still solid offensive lineman. On defense, they did come in and add in Keon O'Neal this year, so he will be at the middle linebacker. But Luke Gifford will have to step up in that role as well as, remember, no Leighton Van Der Esch. And then J-Ron Curse will take over for Wilson at strong safety. So there are a couple of holes on this defense, a couple of backups playing. We'll have to see if we can take advantage of what's turned into a very high-powered offense. But that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.